first step in making apple cider is picking as many apples off the ground as possible. The apples off the ground are known as drops, and the more drops we have in containers, the more apple cider we can make. The reason we use drops instead of the apples off the tree for apple cider is because drops actually have more sugar in them than the apples that are on the tree still. Those trees, once they have stopped providing food for the apple or nutrients for the apple on the tree, it shuts off that food supply. The apple itself builds up that stored sugar that's meant for the seeds inside the apple to eventually grow and have food. And once that has happened, the tree drops the apple onto the ground. So then we take those apples from the ground, put them in the crates, and carry those crates of apples down to our cider press to make sweet, delicious apple cider. After all the apples have been collected, the next thing we need to do is wash the apples. So Rob is taking all of our crates of apples and dumping them into some warm water and getting all the dirt and extra leaves and crud off of them. Then he is going to scoop them up and rinse them off one more time so that they are ready for their next step. Here we have all the washed apples ready to go next to what is called our grinder. And our grinder will take the whole apples and they will get thrown down this chute and into the grinder, which is a bunch of screw heads, um, and that will spin. And as it's spinning quickly, the apples go through and get chopped up into lots of different little bits. And those little bits of apples come out through the bottom hole and into the bucket. Once that bucket is full, we'll carry the bucket over to our cider press. We will dump the pieces of apple into the cider press and eventually fill it up and squish it having cider come out. So here we go. Rob is taking those clean apples, putting them through the chute where the screw heads are grinding them up and going into the bucket down below. And once the bucket is totally full, Rob is taking that bucket and bringing it to the cider press where he's going to pour those apples into the wooden cider press. And we will continue the process until that cider press is completely full of crushed apples. cider press is full, we take these wooden half circles and put them on top of all the crushed apples um, to help squish down the apples. We want to build up as much wood on possible as we can that allows us then to squish the apples down farther into the press itself. So now I'm going to just be adding more blocks to make it higher. Once all the blocks possible are added, we turn the hub and screw it down as tight as we can with our hand. Once we've gotten it as tight as we can with our hand screwing it down, we then add a long metal bar that extends our leverage so it's easier to spin the hub and squish the apples. we spin around the apples are getting squished and as the apples get squished the juice inside of the apple starts to come out the sides of the wooden press and into the bucket. The more 
more you spin the hub, the more squished the apples become and the less space there is. So it gets harder and harder and harder to spin and squish down, eventually getting to the point where you can no longer spin the hub. Once you've allowed all the apple cider to drip out of the press, we then take our container full of apple cider and pour it into a filter. And our filter press um, up top has some metal mesh, which then goes through a very, very fine filter, taking out any seeds or stems or particles that might have gotten into our bucket. And so that only the clean apple cider goes into the actual container. With all the cider from this batch of apples that we squished going through the filter, it's now time for cleanup. So first we have to unscrew the hub from the cider press, then remove all the pieces of wood. Once that has been removed, then the press itself comes apart in two different pieces. And what we have left is something called the apple cake. And the apple cake is all those crushed up apples that have been compressed together and are now kind of a solid cake um, of apples. And we put all that apple cake into the bucket of the tractor, usually making a mess. Once the apple cake mess is all cleaned up, the tractor takes all those apple pieces and brings them to our pigs who will then eat some of the apples. The rest of the apples that the pigs won't eat will take to our compost pile so they can turn into soil and be used as fertilizer later next year. So what's the difference between apple cider and apple juice? Well, as you've seen here, apple cider, we use the whole apple, the stem, the skin, the seeds, the whole thing goes into the grinder and gets smushed and the juice that comes out is that cider with nothing added. Apple juice, they only take the meat of the apple, so the white fleshy part, so no skin, no seeds, no stem, and that gets turned into liquid, and then sugar is added to that liquid to make the apple juice. After several rounds of washing apples, grinding apples, pressing the apples, and then filtering out the cider, we have made a lot of apple cider. And Gary thinks it's delicious. Mmm.